Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. During the winter recess, um, we had Homelessness Week, um, which was a really important event to recognise people who were doing it perhaps the toughest in our communities right across the state and around the country as well. Some of these people um, are in truly dire circumstances and whether they're young or old, um, male or female, black or white, they all deserve our respect, um, our care and our hard work um, in people in the, our community to make sure that their lives um, can be better and that they get the support that they need. So I took part in a, quite a few events, but um, uh, one that really stood out to me was the Vinnie's Community Sleepout, rather than the, the more high profile CEO Sleepout, which was organised by Family Based Care, which is a wonderful organisation uh, in my neck of the woods, was founded in Burnie, and it's one of the largest service providers for people um, receiving aged care, disability care, <laughs> um, and vocational services now right across Tasmania. They've got offices in all the big towns, and they also have outreach onto the islands and Bass Strait, as well as the West Coast. So getting into all the communities where people need um, just that little bit of extra care and help. Now, it was a cool night um, outside in Burnie um, and a group of about 20 hardy volunteers, uh, including myself, who um, uh, put their hand up to sleep under a box uh, on a beautiful Tasmanian winter's night. Luckily enough, it wasn't raining, um, but uh, we were fortunate enough to be placed um, as, as the rules state in, um, in an area whereby you can, you can be um, locked off or locked in um, so that you don't have any trespassers coming through. So it was at the, um, the Burnie Arts and Function Centre, courtesy of the Burnie City Council. Uh, and, and even that, Mr Deputy Speaker, can I say, is a reminder of how fortunate we are when we're kind of playing pretend with some of these homeless week, Homelessness Week events. Um, because there's a heck of a lot of a di heck of a lot of difference between being well fed and well slept and sleeping under a box in the in the courtyard at the Burning Arts and Function Centre um, to being potentially a young lady sleeping under a bridge um, or in uh, in the doorway of a building and the difference that makes for your safety and your your, your sense of well-being um, is truly enormous. We're, we're lucky enough to be visited by. Um, some great people during the night who gave us a bit more of a sense about the services that were available for people um, living with homelessness in our community and also some of the challenges that they've got. So a huge shout out to the Vinnie's um, uh, Soup Van, which does great work right across our community, particularly in Burnie and Wynyard. Um, a, a, a lovely meal, um, really prepared with a lot of heart two course meals, soup and dessert. So we, we were really treated um, to, to the best of the best um, on that night, Mr. Deputy Speaker. And it was important because to have a nice warm meal in your tummy when you know that you've got a long, cold, tazzy winter's night ahead of you uh, can make a big difference. As I say, again, the fact that we only needed to do it one night was a real reminder um, of just how tough a lot of people are doing it when they do it night in, night out and having a bit of warm soup from the Vinnie Soup Van is actually um, an unusual privilege. Um, so, uh, and I did want to actually make mention as well, because it is the Vinnie CEO Sleepout um, ab about that wonderful organisation, St Vincent de Paul. So it was about raising money um, for St Vincent de Paul Society, um, founded by um, St Vincent de Paul, um, uh, who was essentially a saint for the least of us, 16th century French. He was actually the, um, uh, a pastor for 1,200 galley slaves um, from North Africa. So people who, um, at, at the very margins of that society then in a very brutal time where they were given nothing and no support. Um, and for um, Vincent de Paul, um, before he was canonised, um, to dedicate his life to those people and people like them, that ethos has continued on today. He cured the sick, through the founding of hospitals, he fed the hungry um, and looked after those um, who were pushed to um, the very edges of French society at that time. And, and his legacy lives on through our society and through the work of people like Family Based Care and Vinnies who are looking after homeless people in our community here in little old Tasmania and right around the world each and every night and doing a wonderful job. So 
Between us, about 20 volunteers with donations and, and an auction that was done by um, uh, fantastic Northwest auctioneer Andrew de Bomford, we were actually able to raise about $3,300. Uh, there were some very keen uh, bidders and some very hotly contested um, uh, auction items, particularly um, tents, sleeping bags and other um, sleeping uh, arrangements that normally you can't get away with. Normally you have to sleep with a box, but um, if you put in enough money for a good cause, then they can help you out and try and make it a little bit more comfortable for you as well, Mr. Deputy Speaker. Um, so it was, it was a rough night, but it was a dry night. Um, felt absolutely wretched the next day. Um, but again, it, it was a real reminder um, about how lucky we are and how grateful we should be um, to know that we've got a safe family at home um, and a warm home to sleep in um, every other night. Mr Deputy Speaker, there was a few other events um, that I attended, lucky, lucky enough to um, represent the Minister at um, the Homelessness Week event um, in Devonport, organised by wonderful youth organisation, Youth and Family Community Connections in Devonport. They do incredible work with young people right across the North West um, and give them a sense of purpose, a sense of community and fellowship, and also make sure that you know, their tummies are full that they can get access to the services that they need, particularly mental health, which as we all know here um, is becoming an increasingly, um, uh, an increasingly big problem um, for young people who are struggling through this time of pandemic. So Mr Deputy Speaker, I wanted to congratulate all the organisations in the North West and right around Tasmania that were involved in Homelessness Week. And um, I hope that next year, um, even if we're able to just make sure that there's one less person who sleeps on the streets, um, then we'll have done a good job.